What's going on guys, Manny here, welcome back to the channel. A really quick video for today, but maybe one of the most important ones that I ever did. In this episode, I'd like to show you how you can execute a proper partner check for rope climbing. And guys, this could literally save your life someday. So try to get this into your routine at the crack, at the gym, on top rope, on lead. This always applies and is always important. Maybe you're already tired and there's a moment of inattention or you've got excessive confidence already and have a moment of routine blindness so to say momentous oversights can be avoided with this simple habit i will simply go through all the points that have to be checked and i also try to give you some tips what to pay special attention to um, according to my experience at least so let's go the order of these things isn't really important however i will say that it is important that you get a routine in that is logical to you and that you can do time and time again where you don't forget anything Starting from the belayer's perspective, here we are checking the harness first. It's really important that the hip piece sits above the hip bones so that it can't slip down, the fit should be proper and the closure system must be closed and tightened. Excess straps need to be secured properly so that they can't get caught in something and pull the harness open. Now here's a tip, don't be afraid to touch stuff. During a partner check you want to feel and see everything. Sounds sexy because it is. Partner's shirt slipped over the harness and blocks your sight, no problem. Pull it up and take a look. Pull on that harness to see if it works. Check if that stuff really fits properly. Next you want to check if the knot is properly tied to the harness through both the leg loop and the hip loop. Next in line we've got the tie-in knot itself. In most cases you will see a double figure of eight knot. Sometimes you will see a double bow line like in this example. Here's a tip, usually people don't tie their knot in a wrong way, at least if they are not complete beginners. The most common mistake when it comes to tie-in knots is not finishing the knot properly. People get distracted by something, usually someone talks to them, leave the knot halfway finished and forget about it. So watch out for unfinished knots. Now from the climber's perspective, you have to check if the belaying system is set up correctly. First of all, check if the rope is inserted into the belaying device with the right directionality. Almost all belaying devices exhibit rope directionality. There is a climber's side and there is a braking hand's side. If your belayer is working with a semi-automatic device, don't be afraid to simply pull on your end to see if the braking mechanism works. Now check if the carabiner connects the device to the harness via the main loop and if the carabiner is closed. Again, don't be afraid to touch it and test it. This is a very common oversight. Finally, check the harness of your belayer for proper fit and closure. Your life not only depends on your harness, but also on your belayers. And now you're not finished. The last task of the rope team is to check whether there's a knot tied in the end of the rope. One of the most common accidents in rope climbing is people having a too short rope for a route and when rappelling down the rope slips through the belaying device resulting in a grounder of the climber. So that's it, now you're ready to go. One more time, the belayer has to check if the harness of the climber fits properly and is closed. He has to check if the knot is tied to the harness properly and if the knot itself is tied correctly. The climber has to check the rope directionality in the belaying device. If the braking mechanism in case of a semi-automatic is working, if the carabiner connects the belaying device properly to the main loop of the harness and is closed, and if the harness fits properly and is closed as well. And after that, both have to check if there is a proper knot tied into the end of the rope. Usually this can be a double figure of eight knot or anything like that. So that's it guys, I hope I could give you some confidence when it comes to a proper partner check. Again, this is a really important habit for your safety in the long run and it's a little bit of a prerequisite for some of the next videos that are going to come out. So stay strong, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Bye.